Hello YouTube, this is GT Media and this is the second installment of the best 15 apps for the PC. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install and use different features on CC Cleaner. But first of all, I have some exciting new news about a new jailbreak for iPod for iPod Touch 2G, 3G, 4G up to firmware version 4.1, which will be a permanent jailbreak. This jailbreak is brought by the Chronic Dev team and was released today, which was delayed from Sunday at 10 past 10. It is based on the Bootrom exploit and will be untethered. If you want to download this, it will be in the description down there. Okay, now let's get on to CC Cleaner. First of all, what you need to do is open up your web browser and go to google.co.uk. Second of all, you need to type in CC Cleaner and click on the top link there, or you can click CC Cleaner Download here. Now, now what you need to do is whether you want to download it from File Hippo or Piriform. I prefer File Hippo, so I'm going to click Download from FileHippo.com there, and a new tab will open with the download page. Now all you have to do is click here, download latest version and the download should start automatically and save it to your hard drive but I'm going to discard it because I already have that file on my computer. So now once it's finished downloading find your find the installer which should be in your downloads folder and it's called CC setup236.exe. Double click that and accept the UACs. Choose a language which you like. It's uh, available in many languages, including Eng English, Spanish, French, German, Italian, any really. And click OK. Now click Next. Agree the so license agreement and ch choose a program where to install it by using this browse box here and choose a relevant folder. Obviously, obviously, the best place to install it is in your C drive on uh, program files, which it should already be selected. So I'm just going to wait for that for a second because my computer is a bit slow today. Right, now click next. And here you can choose different options, whether you want to add a desktop shortcut, add start menu shortcuts, add run CC cleaner option to recycle bin context menu, which is the right which is the right click menu like that. And a right click menu pops up like that. And you can choose to add open CC cleaner option to recycle bin context menu. And you can automatically automatically check for updates to CC Cleaner and you can choose when to do it which I'll show you later then click install when it's finished installing click the run CC cleaner version 2.36 box here and click finish and now here you can choose what you want to remove off your computer you can choose temporary internet files off Internet Explorer, cookies, history, recent typed URLs, index.dat files, and last download location. And you can choose autocomplete form history, which is all your history and stuff like that, but I don't want to do that. And you can choose Window Explorer, these are all log files, recent documents, run, search autocomplete, other Explorer, MURIs, thumb, thumbnail cache, taskbar junk list. And you've got your system files there, empty recycle bin, temporary files like like crash memory dump files, your clipboard, which are in Word and stuff like that, memory dumps, file fragments, what when a file's been moved is left left a fragment behind and stuff like that, Windows log files like memory dump files and stuff like that still again. And then you can choose all these options there like every report in DNS cache, FTP accounts, start menu shortcuts, desktop shortcuts, all prefetched new data but f 
it's optimized for your computer so so it doesn't mess anything up because you could delete something which well which which goes to a program if you get what I mean. And then you can choose applications and it it is Windows and they have all the programs on Windows and you can choose applications here and you choose whether you want to clean cookies, download history, internet cache, internet history, session, save formed information, compact data database off Firefox and then Google Chrome, pretty much the same again. And then is all your applications here which which are all the caches and everything from that from the applications like so and then you can click on registry and you can scan for issues which is another feature of it it's a registry cleaner as well but now first of all we're going to go into the CC cleaner oh first of all before that you can go into tools you can uninstall it from there you can remove programs from here uninstall programs you can rem disable startup programs or enable them you can delete them and you can choose a system restore and if you click on options at the bottom here you can get settings where you can choose different settings like language whether you want secure or normal file deletion where to wipe free space on drives and you can use cookies like wh what cookies to delete and what cookies to keep you can choose what to include include to remove stuff, you can exclude stuff which you remove and you can choose advanced for more options now we're going to choose the cleaner up here and click analyze which will anal analyze all the stuff what it can remove from your computer without affecting any programs this might take a while comp depending on how long uh, this uh, uh, a clean has been done on your computer but I'm going to cancel that for now because it's going to take quite a while because it's not even on 1% yet but that's pretty much it and then you can click on registry and scan for issues on the registry cleaner <coughs> sorry about that I've got a bit of a cold but you know As you can see, it's running and it's finding all all the uh, registry files that can be removed, like unused file extensions and ActiveX slash com issues, which are from like Java and stuff like that. And there you can see the location of them and the registry key and stuff like that. <laughs> And here is installer reference issues, the registry files that have been created when you've installed programs. Software keys, missing MUR, I reference, and there you go, it's finished now because it's on 100%. And then you can click fix selected issues. And you can choose whether you want to back up the changes, if it affects any of your programs, but I don't think it will, so I'm going to click no. But it will create a, a restore option as you saw before in the tools. So I'm just going to click no. And then click fix all selected issues. And now it, all the issues have been fixed, and click close. And click close again there. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. This was GT Media. And if you need any more help on any software or anything, anything to do on a computer, please comment in the comment box below. After this video, I will be doing a review of Green Poison and how to jailbreak your iPod. Thank you for watching and the next instalment of this series will c commence soon.